right. So today I want to talk about the Jon Snow show. I want to talk about two potential theories that I want to see happen in the show when it comes out. I think at this point, it's pretty much a matter of when rather than if. Now, obviously, they're not going to bring him back just for some day in the life of Jon Snow series. They're going to bring him back for something big, meaning there's got to be a big villain in this show. I don't think they would do this show, which is essentially the sequel to Game of Thrones, without a big reason. And honestly, I can only see two big reasons for Jon Snow to even come back. And those two reasons being, either the Night King and the Army of the Dead was not completely defeated, or Daenerys gets resurrected, or possibly both. Now hear me out. We'll start with the Night King. I'm sure you've seen countless theories about it already, but I want to talk about it too. Alright, do you remember at the end of the first episode of House of the Dragon, they had the whole Prince Who Was Promised scene with Viserys showing Rhaenyra the dagger? The same dagger that was used to kill the Night King way after their time. Now, when I first saw that, I thought it was just like an Easter egg, right? Like they just wanted to give us a reference to Game of Thrones to end their first episode. But even so, I thought, why would they do that when one of the biggest complaints from season eight was how Jon Snow was not the one to kill the Night King? Sure, you could still say Jon technically fulfilled the prophecy because he was the one who brought everyone together, but I think that's a bullshit cop out. He should have been the one to kill the Night King, just like Iron Man was the one to kill Thanos. It was his story, and you just don't give the final kill to somebody else. So fast forward throughout the series, right? And they continuously bring up this dagger and the Prince Who Was Promised Prophecy, which by the way, was not in the book that this show was based on, meaning that it was the showrunner's decision to add this in on their own. So there has to be a reason as to why they did this. And I refuse to believe it was just because they needed a reason to start the Green versus Black's War, all because Viserys thought he was talking to Rhaenyra and not Alicent when he told her about the prophecy. I really hope that's not the only reason they had the prophecy and the dagger in the show. And I don't believe it was a coincidence that we got the dagger and the prophecy happening in this show at the same time the Jon Snow show was getting leaked and talked about. I think and I hope that they did it because they plan on fulfilling that prophecy the right way with the Jon Snow sequel. I want them to bring back the Night King and the White Walkers. Maybe it's a new Night King. It could be something along the lines of instead Instead of the Night King turning all the babies into White Walkers, he saved one to be brought up as the new Night King if he ever died. Whatever the case may be, I don't think the Army of the Dead is finished. So that's my theory on the Night King coming back. And I'm not claiming that theory as my own. I know it's been talked about a hundred times, but I just wanted to give my take on it because I've been thinking about it ever since I first heard the news of the Jon Snow show coming out. And I love talking about this stuff, so why not? All right, so moving on to the second theory. Another theory that I heard going around was to Daenerys Targaryen being resurrected by one of the Red Priestesses. And I could definitely see that happening too. Again, it's a big enough reason to have this show in the first place. And it also allows them to wash away the bad taste as season 8 left on a lot of people, man. Now they could do this one of two ways. They could either bring her back and make her the villain, obviously out for revenge on Jon Snow, or they could do it the second way in the way that I personally prefer more. And that's to bring her back, make her seem like she's gonna be the villain, go after Jon Snow, but instead of going full on crazy again like she did in season 8, she comes to her senses and realizes Jon Snow was in the right for what he did because she now realizes that she became the very monster that she was trying to destroy. I'd like that way better because I want to see Daenerys end her arc as the good guy. Granted, I'm not completely upset that she turned into the bad guy in the first place because it was teased throughout the Game of Thrones series. I just thought her and Jon Snow were the Song of Ice and Fire and that they were the two heroes brought together by destiny from opposite sides of the world to come together and save it from the Night King. And the reason I like Daenerys being resurrected, but not as the bad guy, is that you can now also have the Night King come back in this theory and take his role as the main villain as he always should have been. I have no idea how the Night King and the White Walkers were built up for eight freaking seasons, man, since the very first scene of the show. And they weren't even the main villains. They were third behind Cersei and Daenerys. The Night King didn't even have a damn fight scene, man. And no, the dragon scene did not count. I'm talking about a fight scene one-on-one -on -one with Jon Snow. It's absolutely ridiculous, but this Jon Snow show gives him a chance to fix 
fix all of it. Now, the one thing that does confuse me about this series is that all the leaks are saying that this show is going to be a limited series. And obviously, they can't build all of that up with the limited series. But at the same time, like I said earlier, they're not just going to bring Jon Snow back for some day in the life of Jon Snow limited series. Now, I'm probably way off with this, but I think this show might lead into another show. Now, it's just a theory, and you can call me crazy for it, but what if it led into a season 9 of Game of Thrones? Or at least another sequel show? What if we actually got a proper ending? I just can't see another reason why they would bring back Jon Snow if it wasn't for something like that. But I'm just throwing crazy theories out there, man. Only time will tell what actually does happen with the show. But either way, I'm excited as hell for it, man. Jon Snow is my favorite fantasy character of all time, so this is like a dream come true for me. So best believe I will be covering all the news that drops for this show. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate you, man. You're a real one. As always, I've been the Crescent Moon, and it's a great time to be a Game of Thrones fan. So keep your heads up and be safe out there. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.